Welcome to Freedon Business. He grew up in South Florida, has been in business here since the early 90s, and has closed over $1 billion in deals. He's seen it all. He always has an opinion, and he's always ready to share it. Informed, entertaining, and connected, he has his finger on the pulse of South Florida's business community. He's Jim Freed, and this is Freedom Business. Thank you so much, Regan. I'd like you to change the uh, intro. I've done three billion, closing in on four billion, but one billion's a lot. We could stick with that. We've got the smiling face of Jason Zarco today. He's here with his partner, Esther Percal. They are the top team on Miami Beach. We'll talk about the secret deals that they're doing because Esther is very, very private. We won't necessarily dive too deep, but we'll get some good color from her. Then we've got Dan Lukowitz. Did I get it right, Dan? You got he's it, still, that's right. He's still pixelating over there on the left. But Dan is a triple net expert. He's continuing to evolve. Dan and I met on LinkedIn. We're going to talk about how we network on LinkedIn. We're going to give tips on LinkedIn. Dan's a lot younger than I am, so he's a lot more nimble on LinkedIn. Of course, Reagan Mendoza running the show and making me look good. And our friends from Warren Henry, who've been with us since 2012, and we've been on since 2008. Today is our anniversary show. Next week, Larry will be on when I thank him. He was supposed to be on today, but he had a family emergency. So, Reagan, take it away. Let's sell some cars for Larry, and then let's come back and sell some houses with Jason and Esther. everybody we're south florida's longest running business talk show we've been on 12 years today we start our 13th year just in time for covid 19 year number 13. and i'd like to give a shout out to all the first responders healthcare heroes and all the other people on the front lines including the people that pack the bags at Publix and whole foods but the people i really want to thank are the people that have been our sponsors since july of 2012 warren henry automotive thank you warren thank you larry Thank you, Eric. Thank you to the whole team over there. And when you're looking to buy or lease a car, you want to get every advantage that you can. That's why you have to check out Warren Henry, Land Rover, Range Rover, Infinity and Jaguar, up in Gainesville. They sell out east, down in the Keys. They've got all the great nameplates. What do they have in common? Well, they're all great cars, and they come with the Warren Henry Advantage. That means you get complimentary service loaner, dynamic wheel protection, key replacement, guaranteed purchase offer, best value guarantee, and my favorite, you get three three days, 72 hours, to make sure you like your car or you can exchange it. So join me, my mom, and my beautiful wife, Vivian. We're all members of the Warren Henry family. You should be, too. Always the best service, always the best price, always Warren Henry. You know, that commercial about kindness is really important. We're coming out of Jewish holidays. The one thing that I found in the Jewish holidays that was really important to me was that in the bottom line, it's you just gotta be kind. That's what the lesson is. Kind to yourself, kind to others. It's really a big lesson in life and in business. We'll talk about that later. One thing I know about everybody on that show today is that they're all kind. Call me, call me if I can help you with a residential mortgage, a commercial bridge loan, and I've got all kinds of other things I'm working on that we'll talk about hmm, in just a couple of weeks. But give me a call if I can help you right now capitalize yourself with a home loan or a business loan. 305-773-6300 gets you to me. We're helping all kinds of people replace the equity in their deals or bring in new equity. Actually price it with debt though. So you get the whole upside. Ford National, we can finance them. Jumbo loan, I can do that. Call me at 305-773-6300. Why? Because when you call me, it's always all about you. 
Welcome back to Freedom Business. Connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at Jim Freed or at Freedom Business. And on Instagram at Jim Freed One. Now, back to your host, Jim Freed. All right, we are back, and I continue to experiment with the technology here. Eventually, I'll get the good webcam working. Right now, it's coming off my laptop, and I look like I'm talking to the sky. But we are on today with the top brokerage team on Miami Beach, Esther Percal and Jason Zarco. Welcome to the show, Esther and Jason. Thanks so much, Jim. Now, um, Miami Beach is a very interesting place. Lots of artsy stuff, lots of business stuff, lots of really rich people from out of town buying and selling all the time. You're in the middle of the mix. What are you seeing right now? Because the word on the street is a lot of people are moving here from New York. Is that something you're seeing? Is that a real trend? Yes, it is. And it's not only New York, we've gotten a lot of people from California. So really, recently, if I was to tell you, you're probably, you know, 50% LA and 50% the Northeast, meaning, you know, New York, Boston, blah, blah, blah. Now, is the Los Angeles connection something relatively new? I mean, I understand the, the attraction. It's a sort of similar quality with a lot less smoke and a lot less taxes. But this really hasn't been a location for Los Angeles in the past, has it, Esther? A little bit, but not as much as now. And now it's like uh, probably three out of the four sales you hear about is more L.A. You know, the New Yorkers have been coming here for a long time. And they've always had a second home. Some of them are moving about. There's some that have had condos here forever. And now they're going back to single family. And the L.A. market sort of started to wake up last year. But now, like, the you know, last few deals that you keep hearing about are all from San Francisco, Los Angeles, or thereabouts, somewhere in California. Yeah, just in the past two weeks, I've had three leads come in. And... Those three have been all from the West Coast. So it, it's pretty amazing. I mean, like you said, Jim, uh, there's no question that the lifestyle and the weather, they, they can definitely relate to it. It used to be too long of a hike for them in terms of travel time. Uh, that's kind of been put to the wayside. And, and there's no question it's partially driven uh, by, by taxes. There's no question about it. So then, so then, uh, they're moving from Los Angeles. They're still able to work, though, right? They're, they're, are they starting new businesses here? What's that all about? <clears throat> so it, it's, really, it's really a mix, right? And, and we're seeing this from the, from the northeastern market, too. So, uh, so partially, the answer is that, yes, they've figured out how to work remotely, just like many of us have in particular businesses. Um, and that, that'll kind of segue into our conversation that we'll delve into with Esther about the ultra ultra luxury market and what's happening there and 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 what they're looking for in terms of trophy assets uh but now in terms of their personal lifestyle where they have more space more privacy uh, more water frontage etc it really really ties into the fact that someone uh that has the money to be able to do that can sit back in their backyard take their zoom calls and be out on their boat five minutes later so there, there's a huge huge value to that uh, and, and, and in regards to businesses uh, that can't work remotely, if you will, or, or only partially can, yes, some of them are setting up shop here as well and moving their entire offices here. Wow. Well, uh, you see in the background that uh, I work from home, and that's the background that I have. I love where I live. And um, just as an aside, uh, if you have people that are coming here that are um, moving businesses, we should talk off the line because I can help them with incentives, with city and local incentives. If they're bringing employees, we can help them with incentives with a number of the people that I know from my lobbying ties. So I'd really love the opportunity to help you and your and your team offer a variety of services as we really open our arms and welcome them to our community. Esther, are they finding the business community is welcoming to them when they arrive? I think everybody in Miami Beach at the beginning is very welcoming. It's, you know, maybe a few years into living here that you, you know, get a reality check. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're tremendous. Now I want to ask uh, Jason a little bit because not everybody's the super wealthy and the super rich. 
Jason, I know that you've been mining a couple of different areas on Miami Beach. What do you think is a great place for people to look at coming up to invest in? Because Miami Beach has been specked out for a long time on most of the places. Yeah, there's no question. I mean, it's funny because I see it as the new frontier uh, in terms of an outsider perspective, but in terms of an insider, I've, I've always called it home. So uh, the, the North Beach market, in my opinion, has a tremendous amount of upside. So that's really, if, if you dice Miami Beach uh, from South Beach to Mid Beach, so let's call it, you know, in the, the 20s and Collins South, we consider South Beach, the upper 20s up to uh, all the way up to about 63rd Street, we, we still technically call it Mid Beach. And then in the 60s, all the way up to uh, where Surfside begins, is really where North Beach is. So there's certain islands there that, are, that have amazing water frontage, uh, islands such as Normandy, uh, where there's a golf course. It feels extremely private. A lot of, you know, wonderful families in the neighborhood moving there. It's, it's very organic in nature. It's very authentic. It's got its own feel. Um, so Normandy, Biscayne Point, which is where I grew up, uh, you know Normandy well because you have family there too, and, and a lot of us. I want to move there. It's tremendous. It's beautiful. Yeah. We're going to go there. We're going to work with you and uh, your team, and we're going to find something to do there. It's going to be really, really beautiful. A lot of the homes there are on the, I'll call it the commercial waterway as opposed to the open waterway, seem to be in play right now. And those seem to be uh, homes that would be ach uh, achievable for many people in town. Right. So, I mean, you know, areas like Stillwater too, those are really the three main waterfront neighborhoods where I'd say there's really great upside. If you look at what's pending right now, it's incredible. The amount of activity, honestly, just in the past four months, uh, the shift in demand has changed uh, in a way, especially for those who live here year round. If they have young families, they don't necessarily want to be in a condo. I was in the same situation where I just moved into a house during the pandemic. And so a lot of families are doing the same thing. And so, Look, if you can get a house on the water, let's say in Stillwater, Normandy, or Biscayne Point for $2 million, or really, let's call it two to, to five, uh, which really takes up the, the, the grand portion of, of that market, I mean, it's a tremendous deal when you compare it to other parts. Uh, now, and you can get on the canal for $1.2 million, you know, so it really just depends. Yeah, and you can bang right out into the bay there, too. Now. We're going to go into a little bit of a break, but before I do that, I want to talk to Esther real quick. Psst. Tell me. She's doing deep. Okay, Esther. Oh, uh, no, I, I do a lot of hard money lending on these. I'm actually trying to find out, uh, was trying to get you details because that Normandy Island area is, you know, you you guys are talking about a $2 million price point now, but that is going to explode there's a house that just sold on bay drive new build my understanding is somebody called on the phone never saw it and paid six million plus for it i'm trying to get you what that plus is wow and i wow. want to tell you it's a high six and that was a sight unseen sale for a new built home in a ter you know in an area that that's an unprecedented price for that neighborhood. That's correct. Yeah. And listen, we'll see more stuff. of that. We'll see more of that. I mean, I see there's enormous spec homes like the one right at the entrance to La Gorse on uh, North Bay Road. It's, it's going to be like a 30, 40, 50 million dollar house. I mean, these big homes are being built and they're being purchased, aren't they? Yeah. And the thing is that that market has sort of you know, uh, absorbed itself. We started with an oversaturated market maybe 12 months ago. And now, and everybody prefers new build for many, many reasons. Uh, there's very little inventory and there's it's very amazing. little uh, speculation or coming up. And if it, whatever's coming up won't be available for two years. Wow. Listen, can we, do you guys mind if we take a quick break and then we'll come right back? Jason, I have more questions I wanted to get to. Of course. All right. Excellent. Uh, Regan, take it away. We'll be right back. Uh, we're going to sell some cars for Warren Henry and thank them again for sponsoring the show for uh, such a long time. And uh, now I'm jealous, Jay. I want some of that espresso coffee back after this. <laughs> Cafecitos. Cafecitos.
we, uh, we are South Florida's longest running business talk show. Uh, 12 years entering our 13th year. We've been sponsored by Warren Henry Automotive since July 2012. I want to thank Larry, Eric, and Warren, and the whole team over there, especially May Stark, who keeps my car running for all the wonderful times and support that we've had with Warren Henry. It's wonderful to be a part of the Warren Henry family. When you're looking to buy or lease a car, you want to get every advantage that you can. That's why you have to be a member of the Warren Henry family. Range Rover, Land Rover, Range Rover, Infinity and Jaguar, up in Gainesville, they sell Audi. Down in the Keys, they sell them all. What do they have in common? Well, they're all great cars, and they all come with the Warren Henry advantage. That means you get complimentary service loaner, dynamic wheel protection, key replacement, guaranteed purchase offer, best value guarantee, the 72 hour exchange. You can take a full three days to make sure you love your Warren Henry vehicle. Remember to go up to their new store on 151st Street. It's clean, it's safe, it's gorgeous. And when you get there, go to the service department and tell May I sent you, she's got some great deals. Now, please join me, my mom, and my beautiful wife, Vivian. We're all members of the Warren Henry family. You should be too. Always the best price, always the best service, always Warren Henry. Carlson from Carlson Integrated. You know, a lot of our clients find that they can do anything, but not really everything. We are always excited to jump in and help. So whether you need another set of hands for a project or even comprehensive marketing management, our team of marketing mavens would love to have a conversation with you to see if we are the right fit. We do everything from logo and design work to email outreach and social media to writing and thought leadership. And here's a fun one. We are now offering our fabulous ebook of top 10 marketing tips on our website for free. So head over to carlsonintegrated.com and grab a copy today. And please always let us know how we can help. My email is Becca, that's B-E-K-A-H at carlsonintegrated.com. That's B-E-K-A-H at carlsonintegrated.com. She's great. You know, she's just as spunky in person. I just love her. She's a great marketing person. Hey, everybody, give me a call at 305-773-6300. Just email me, Jim at Freedom Business, and I can help you get a mortgage. You say, well, I can get a mortgage. Yeah, you can try, but it ain't so easy. I just got off the phone with a guy who's a real estate investor. Up, down, left, right, this, that, the other. It ain't going to be easy. He called his mortgage broker. He said he'd get him a 90% mortgage. Three weeks later, that guy lied. The guy called me. I'm just transparent. I told him what I can do. He's interested. We'll be talking to him later today. In fact, let me write that down and make a note to myself right now. So call me. You see how important it is when you call me. It's always all about you. I can get your mortgage or I'll tell you if they're lying to you. I'll tell you if you can or can't get a mortgage. You don't waste a lot of time. I don't want to waste a lot of time either done $3 billion worth of commercial, doing all kinds of these residential mortgages. I got a pipeline this long. So give me a call at 305-773-6300. Why? Because when you call me, it is always all about you. Welcome back to Freedom Business. Connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at Jim Freed or at Freedom Business and on Instagram at Jim Freed One. Now, back to your host, Jim Freed. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to South Florida's longest running business talk show. I've been doing this now for 12 years. This will be the 13th year. And I want to welcome my good friend, Jason Zarco, his business partner, Esther Perkel, and our guest for the next segment, Dan Lekowitz, who I keep butchering the poor guy's name, but he'll eventually make sure I get it right. So Jason and Esther, uh, we've been talking about the Miami Beach market. We've been talking about different segments, the Lux, the Super Lux, the entry level luxury market. What's really going on? Because people are just buying homes. There is no inventory. 
How can people work with you to make sure that they are getting the right service and the right deal? What do you guys bring to the table that helps people make the right decision? Um, I think the knowledge of the market and the becomes a home, in my opinion, you know, a home is a love affair. And the home, in my opinion, sometimes even picks their buyers because sometimes you'll be with a buyer that just wants, you know, Mediterranean mid-century and they end up buying totally the opposite. And so I think that at that point, it's the home that chose the person that walked through the door as much as that buyer chose that home. But that's step number one. And understanding what your buyer wants and showing them what you think will work and sometimes going out of that box a little bit because you learn that sometimes what they think they want is not what they end up buying. But then comes the knowledge and the education process and the one step at a time towards closing. And you, you know, know, there's a lot of issues that are Florida related that other people don't understand, like Europeans, you know, don't know what termites are and run the other way. Spalling is an issue. So it's knowing the market, it's knowing how to guide them and assuring them because yes, sometimes people will pay a little more for their house they love. And most time, if they really love it and stay there long enough, whatever extra they pay doesn't make a difference because you know, our market has gone up and continues to go up, but they have to feel comfortable and you have to explain to them whether they're overpaying, underpaying, where they're at in comparison to the rest of the market. And you have to be very transparent. And I think that what we bring to the table when we walk through the door is that the sale is not as important as the relationship that you're going to develop. Because it's Thank not you. always about money and it's not always about making the deal, but making sure that if everybody trusts you and understands you, you have a client for life. Mm -hmm. And you have to read, you know, it's, it's respect. It's respect to the client that they never catch you out of line. And it's respect of, from them to you that, you know, they're loyal, that they appreciate your work. Not everybody does. Um, and that's my answer. I think that's wonderful. You, you, you said the number one thing, and I think it's building the relationship and maintaining the relationship. Yep. Jason's excellent at it. Yes, we, it, it, it's about creating this authenticity that they might not feel from, from someone else, because a lot of people yeah. are chasing the dollar, unfortunately. And, 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 and honestly, if we're not doing right by the client, we would rather lose the deal than, than, than screw them over. That's really the reality of it. Um, well, and it's really providing first class service. And what's extremely important is, at, you know, at this level and really at any level, uh, clients want privacy. And so they need to feel like you're really out there for their best interest. Uh, you're not just out there to, to make some headline and, and use their name for it. So that's really, really crucial as part of the process. Well, I think certainly in the super lux niche that you guys dominate, pri privacy and, and lack of transparency is important. I think in any relationship, that transparency between you and your client is extraordinarily important. And I think that they can feel if you're being dishonest or un inauthentic, unauthentic, not authentic, being full of you know what, and people don't like that. Today's world is seeking calmness and togetherness and, th and, and tranquility and positive energy. And I think that if you bring that to the table, you're ahead of the, the head of the game. And certainly in this town where it's, I call it the missing borough of New York, some people may not have that kind of attitude. So the fact that you bring all of this positive energy to the table is extraordinarily important. I think you missed one thing that you also bring to the table. You bring your network, you bring your knowledge of the culture and the community. You can help them easily integrate into the community at a level that it's very difficult to penetrate. You can match make that way too. 
Jim, that's it, it, it's really about being, uh, in my view, it's really about being a concierge too. I mean, I come from the luxury hotel Ritz Carlton world, and and really, when you you know you like you're saying, integrating them into the environment, what does that mean? I mean, it can mean something as personal as introducing them to the owner of a restaurant and making sure that they're taken care of and giving your own recommendations for uh, your favorite dish at the local, at the local. Hair and nails, hair and nails. Come on, Esther. <laughs> I was going to go to get my hair done. I was going to send them to the fish market by the river. <laughs> Yeah, listen, okay, but you know, these are unique things. Yeah, these are things that, that, that are the, the, the emits of our community. Yeah, you really become like a tour guide in many senses. Um, but, you know, you also have to, listen, you start at the level of schools and you start at the level of, you know, uh, I have, I have, provided more housekeepers work than I probably sold homes in my life. Oh yeah. Listen, my wife is a member of that network. I know. Yeah. So, you know, you help them with everything, but I think you touched on a point that I, I feel that that is very important. And at the end of the day, what we are doing is that we are providing a home for a family. And because of, I've been doing this for a very long time. And for many, many years back, we were very respectful of our client broker relationship. If you go to an attorney, the attorney has a client attorney relationship. You can't get a word out of an attorney about anything that doesn't concern your deal. If you go to a doctor, he can't go telling anyone unless you approve what he found. In our business, it seems like all of the agents are now believing to be themselves to be superstar. You have no idea how many are number one. Everybody is number one. All the companies are number one. All the agents are number one. And all the agents run to the press to give their clients names and addresses. And I find it very, very disrespectful that we are not protecting our deals and our clients. We, I, every time you try to be the star or try to be as equal to your clients, you end up losing a little bit of yourself and your self-respect and we cannot be going out there and telling people about clients homes and their prices and where they live and they, you know people are telling on other brokers they're you know kowtowing to the reporter so that the next time they write about them you have no idea what is going on in this market with or, or sometimes even taking responsibility or you know accolades for a deal they didn't, they didn't do. do. Yeah. You know, we could go on for quite some time, Esther. I'm going to have to end it right here for now. But I'm going to ask the two of you to come back maybe at the end of the year, sort of there, and we could talk about what's going on in this post-COVID thing and wish everybody happy holidays. And I got to say it this way, Esther better wear a much more festive outfit or I'd be disappointed. <laughs> Don't you like my colorful outfit? I think you look marvelous. You are such a fina person. Gracias. You are just tremendous. Gracias. De nada, mi amor. Yeah. So listen, we're gonna have, we're gonna take a quick break, and then we're gonna come back with Dan. Dan and I met on LinkedIn. We're gonna talk about LinkedIn marketing. I promise you, Esther, I'm gonna teach Jason my LinkedIn tips. We're gonna have the best time. Jason's gonna continue to propel you and your team to great success. Now I can't wish I you anything. Boy. Mom, we love you. We love okay, you so thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you for having your style and your smile. We really appreciate it. Thank you. We're going to be thank back you. after this with Dan, and we're going to talk to Dan about Triple Nets and National Marketplace and marketing yourself on LinkedIn. He's one of the new young stars on LinkedIn. We'll be back after this again. Thank you to Jason and Esther for being here on our anniversary show. Mwah, we love you. Thank you. My pleasure. All right. Rig and take it away.
South Florida, remember, and boy, you just saw one of the big titans of business here on our show, South Florida's longest running business talk show we've been on now. This will be our 13th year. We've got like five, 600, I don't know how many episodes. It's tremendous. All kinds of great interviews. Go to freedombusiness.com for our archives. And I want to give a special thanks to our friends. They'll be on next week. They had an emergency this week at Warren Henry. Thank you to Larry. Thank you to Warren. And thank you to Eric. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring the show and allowing me to bring such good energy and wonderful people to our community. And remember everybody, when you're looking to buy a car, you want to get every advantage that you can. That's why you have to check out Warren Henry, Land Rover, Range Rover, Infinity and Jaguar, up in Gainesville, they sell Audis. Down in Miami, they sell, uh, rather down in the Keys, they sell all their nameplates. What do they have in common? Well, they all come with the Warren Henry advantage besides being great cars. What's the Warren Henry advantage? Well, that's complimentary service loaner, dynamic wheel protection, key replacement. You get a guaranteed purchase offer, the best value guarantee in the 72 hour exchange. You can take three days to decide whether or not you'll like your Warren Henry car. You can turn it back in. Nobody ever does that. So join me, my mom, and my beautiful wife, Vivian. We are all members of the Warren Henry family. Had cars for them for years. They're tremendous. They can just call Jim. You got to turn in your car, bring it in. I Last time I didn't even go down there. They just brought it up. See, you don't even have to go in there and meet anybody. So join us all. We're all members of the Warren Henry family. You should be too. Always the best price. Always the best service. Always Warren Henry. Choosing kindness, you know that's number one here on our show. That's what we're all about. That's why we profile people like Jason and Esther and Dan. They are all kind and they are all thoughtful. That is the main foundation of their business. Mine too. Give me a call at 305-773-6300. Right before the show, a guy hit me for a $1.4 million jumbo mortgage in Weston. He says, Jim, I've known you for years through internet, LinkedIn, and all that other stuff. I said, High five, really nice to meet you. He also invests in commercial. We're gonna talk about that too. So give me a call. I can help you holistically, all kinds of great stuff. And if I can't, guarantee I know somebody else who can. So give me a call at 305-773-6300. I'm doing bridge loans on commercial, all kinds of perms, everything. 305-773-6300, give me a call. Why? Because when you call me, it's always all about you. Welcome back to Freedom Business. Connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at Jim Freed or at Freedom Business. And on Instagram at Jim Freed One. Now, back to your host, Jim Freed. All right, we are back and we are back. Uh, first half of the show, we had Esther Percal and Jason Zarco. Now we've got Dan Luke. Luke, Dan. I can't ever get it right. Dan. Dan is out of Detroit. We met on LinkedIn. He's the top triple net uh, broker, and we're gonna talk a little bit about the triple net market, but more importantly about some LinkedIn networking tips. You never know, you may pick up something that helps you get a client, just like I did this morning. Dan, welcome to the show. Hey, Jim, thanks so much for having me. I really appreciate it, it's great to be here. My pleasure. First, you gotta say your last name so I stop butchering it. Lukowitz, my name is Dan Lukowitz. Dan, you're based up in Detroit, right? That's correct. All right. Holy city of Detroit. All right. Now, Detroit's been a happening place. All kinds of opportunity up there. High five to my friend Dan Gilbert for what he's doing up there. Dan, tell me a little bit about what's going on in Detroit and what the opportunities are. Yeah, sure. So um, just a little bit of background. I actually had a company called Renaissance Real Estate Ventures. This was the successor company to Oakland Real Estate Ventures, which was a, basically an, an investment company that purchased, financed, renovated, and resold single-family and multifamily homes in Michigan. Um, we moved our entire company over to the city of Detroit before it was kind of the, 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 the popular, sexy thing to do. And we saw a tremendous renaissance in the city of Detroit. 
Um, from a residential real estate perspective, the opportunity as an investor in Detroit is huge. From a commercial perspective as well, um, we've seen rents per square foot and sale prices just continue to climb and climb and climb. Um, in general, Detroit is about maybe seven or eight years behind the rest of the country in the foreclosure market. So all the opportunity that the rest of the country saw or that we saw as investors years ago during this last recession, we're now bearing the fruit of that in Detroit. So it's an incredible place. A lot of great things going on there, Jim. And then you uh, you matriculated from the residential side to the commercial side. Tell me a little bit about what you see on the national triple net basis right now, because I think that at this time people would uh, really be having a flight to safety, and I'm not sure how you evaluate credit right now. Yeah, so that's a great point. There's definitely a flight to safety and a flight away from high risk. The triple net space in general has always been a relatively safe space in, conjun in, in contrast to other types of real estate investment. And right now, what we're seeing is that a lot of people that were in the equities markets, a lot of people that are scared about what's going on in the stock market, or even people from the multifamily space are migrating to triple net because of its inherent safety. Now, what I will tell you specifically in triple net properties, and you brought up a good point with credit worthiness, which we'll talk about in a minute. One of the things that we're noticing is that the, the, the capital, whether it's institutional capital or hedge fund capital or large investor capital, it's all really coming down and coming together into your essential retailers, into your medical office buildings, into your industrial products, and into those assets that are, so to speak, pandemic proof. Now, Dan, uh, you run a team. It's not just you. How many members of your team are there? And would you like to give them a shout out? Yeah, so um, we we basically, you know, part of a, of a brokerage and um, we've got some other brokers working in the team underneath us and as well as some, some wonderful assistants. Um, I've been blessed to be, you know, I don't want to name anybody any names because there are too many people to mention that have been instrumental in, in our success. So okay, how about I don't want to anybody out because I don't want to leave anybody out. I talked to the boss on Saturday. Would you like to give her a shout out? Um, oh, yeah, sure. Let's give a shout out to Brady. She's great. Great. She's actually uh, my go. financial advisor. Um, wonderful young lady. And she's been incredibly. There you go. Now, listen, um, let's talk a little bit about LinkedIn. We've met on LinkedIn. Um, we work together a little bit. We just get got started. Uh, just beginning to see some real good traction there. Tell me a little bit about why you got involved on LinkedIn and what does it do for you? So I've experimented a little bit with other forms of social media and uh, LinkedIn was always my favorite. I was pretty dormant on the, on the platform for a while. A good friend of mine, former roommate in Israel, actually, Yona Weiss, big time shout out to Yona, excellent individual. He's been pushing me to get more and more involved in LinkedIn and he actually did this commercial real estate challenge. I think you were part of that challenge, if I'm, I remember correctly, Jim. And um, he encouraged us to get together in groups and post one post, at least one post, every single day for 10 days, which believe it or not is harder than it sounds. And we had to get at least 18 comments and 18 uh, reactions. And through that, I made so many connections with people. I'm actually seeing my network grow, Jim, by approximately 10% per day. So no that's way. how I got really re-involved in LinkedIn. I promise you, and I can teach you guys some really simple, incredible tips to expand your reach. And I, I'm telling you now, when I list a property, first place I go before I even put it on the market, I take my little flyer, I put it up on LinkedIn, and I now have the fund managers and the real estate investment trust managers emailing me because they saw my flyer on LinkedIn. It's incredible and it's totally free. Wow, that's amazing. That is amazing and it's not easy to do. Now, um, yeah. What is your favorite thing that you've been able to accomplish using LinkedIn so far? I would actually say that um, I've created basically like a conglomerate of professionals in each ancillary industry related to commercial real estate. So you'll have your appraisers, you'll have your environmental people, you'll have your lenders like Jim, you'll have your brokers like me, you'll have your investors, et cetera, et cetera. So I'll take those people very strategically and match them up in one of these exclusive groups. And then throughout the day, we're constantly collaborating. We're constantly sharing. Dan, Dan, what I'm going to do, Dan, is I'm going to go to a break right now. Each other, like, we're really losing. awesome moral support and tips and tricks. Those collaborations, I really noticed that we've made some 
Okay. Sure. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay, Reagan, we're going to go to break and then we'll come back to we'll come back to Dan because he's got to get a better connection. Uh, so let's go back uh, to break and we'll be right back with Dan talking about Triple Net. Mind y'all, we're South Florida's longest running business talk show. Uh, We've been broadcasting for 12 years. This is our 13th year and our sponsor since 2012 has been Warren Henry Automotive. And I want to thank Larry and Warren and um, Eric for support. And when you're looking to buy or lease a car, you want to get every advantage that you can. That's why you have to check out Warren Henry, Land Rover, Range Rover, Infinity and Jaguar. Up in Gainesville, they sell Audis. Excuse me down in the keys they sell them all what do they have in common well they're all great cars and they all come with the warren henry advantage that means you get complimentary dent repair oh excuse me that means you get complimentary service loaner dynamic wheel protection key replacement guaranteed purchase offer best value guarantee and the 72 hour exchange you can take three full days to decide whether you love your warren henry car go to their new store up on 151st in biscayne look for may stark in the service department Tell her I sent you. It's clean. It's wonderful. They've got specials every day. So join me, my mom, and my beautiful wife, Vivian. We're all members of the Warren Henry family. You should be, too. Always the best price. Always the best service. Always Warren Henry. Carlson from Carlson Integrated. You know, a lot of our clients find that they can do anything, but not really everything. We are always excited to jump in and help. So whether you need another set of hands for a project or even comprehensive marketing management, our team of marketing mavens would love to have a conversation with you to see if we are the right fit. We do everything from logo and design work to email outreach and social media to writing and thought leadership. And here's a fun one. We are now offering our fabulous ebook of top 10 marketing tips on our website for free. So head over to carlsonintegrated.com and grab a copy today. And please always let us know how we can help. My email is Becca, that's B-E-K-A-H at carlsonintegrated.com. That's B-E-K-A-H at carlsonintegrated.com. She is always so upbeat and spunky. She always makes me smile whenever I hear her voice. I just think she's tremendous. You knew she was a cheerleader in high school. You just know it. Hey, everybody, give me a call at 305-773-6300 if I can help you with a loan, a mortgage, real estate advice, whatever it is. I'm helping everybody with everything, even getting a job. Call me at 305-773-6300. You know that my My brand is that I personally self-actualize by helping others achieve their goals. So give me a call. Let me help you achieve your goal. You heard Esther earlier talking about how people's homes are everything to them. And I want to help you get your home if you can do that. And I want to help you with your real estate, commercial real estate too. Call me at 305-773-6300. Why? Because when you call me, it is always all about you. Welcome back to Freedom Business. Connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at Jim Freed or at Freedom Business. And on Instagram at Jim Freed One. Now, back to your host, Jim Freed. All right, we are back. I want to remind everybody we're South Florida's longest running business talk show. We're in our last segment. This is our anniversary show, for lack of a better word. We've now been on 12 full years. Turn in the cycle today. For the 13th year. We've got Dan Lukowitz on. How did I do that time, Dan? I got close. It's got to be his name. 
Dan Lukowicz is on. We've got Jason Zarko and Esther Perkel. If Dan doesn't uh, unpixelate and unfreeze, we're going to talk more Miami Beach real estate. And I think we're going to do that. So unmute Jason and Esther. Hey, kids. So, you know, people hey, may man. have joined us. Let's talk a little that bit about how You got it. 100% perfect. Let's talk a little bit about how hot the Miami Beach market really is. You've told me that people are coming from okay. New York, but then you surprised me and told me that there were people coming from Los Angeles. What's going on? And are people coming from the Midwest? I mean, you know, my family's from Chicago. Anybody coming from there? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Jim, let, let me put one quick thing in perspective that I wanted to mention earlier. And, and this is the ultra luxury segment of the market. So it's pretty amazing. In January, February, March, okay, there were nine years of inventory. There was nine years of inventory of ten million dollar plus homes on Miami Beach. Okay, the total glut. The word on the street was it was going to be a bloodbath in that All sector. Right. And guess how many months of inventory we have now? Twelve. Esther told months. us. Twelve. Esther told months. us. There's no, nothing. There's, there's Cornish. Months, which for the ten million dollar plus market is unbelievable okay because you really want to be sitting for for a seller's market in this price segment at least uh you, you want to be at you know 12 to 18 months and all of a sudden we've accomplished that where we were at nine years literally 107 months or so uh just four months ago actually up to june we were at the same point and, and, and what's amazing is not only what's sold, but what's pending. Right, just in the last two months, actually in the last three months, there are 19 pending homes uh, at $10 million plus. That's, that's, I mean, we've never seen any, anything like that before. And I know Esther can delve into that more for sure. Yeah, Esther, tell me a little bit about that. Um, you know, look, you're really in the mix. You're in the social circle. You just don't sell to these people. You're you're their friends and their confidant. What's the real buzz going on? Are these people coming here to stay? Are, is our population shifting again? Look, I've lived here since 1969. I've seen a couple of different shifts, okay? Is this another one? Yeah. And, you know, I'll third homes and continue that way. Uh, you know, a lot of them are now establishing residency here because it is income tax beneficial. So maybe they started out with one idea or start out with, you know, one leg in and bring the other one. Um, and, you know, they it's a nice place to live at the end of the day. Maybe sometimes we all take for granted what's here, but, you know, coming down here with this weather and, you know, at the end of the day, I know that it's an active city, although right now, you know, the pandemic has slowed us down, but our natural resources like your bays and your beaches are amazing. So it's a great lifestyle, even for kids. I mean, we have, I have clients from London that, you know, every year they come, they enroll the kids in school. Life keeps them from actually bringing the other foot into Miami because they got to go back to London, but their dream is to ultimately live here. It's a much nicer place to live than where they're at. So I think well, everybody feels the same way. We complain about the traffic, but if you're coming from California, our traffic is a piece of cake. So well, I grew up, you know, Miami's very attractive and it always has been. And listen, I was the first that thought that the pandemic would be a bloodbath on the residential market. And the total opposite happened. I mean, I read it totally wrong. And there's been a run on houses. Some of them, you know, the new thing, whether it's true or not, is that, you know, a lot of these homes are being bought sight unseen. Whether that's true or not, I don't know, because I don't believe everything I read or hear. <laughs> but I do know... You know, when you're talking sight unseen, it's relative. I mean, that doesn't mean that, you know, the person buying a house on Sunset Island doesn't know where the island is or where the lot is or where the house is. But maybe at the moment that they made the decision is sight unseen. Or maybe at the moment they made the decision, they just decided on this property that 
they had not seen, but, you know, took a gamble. I sold a lot on Sunset Island about a couple of weeks ago. And we had a, a lot had been sitting there for about a year and a half at 8.9 million. And then it took us about a year to reduce it to 8.5 million. We had an offer for seven and a half. That was from a spec builder who tied it up and then walked out of the deal. An offer came in after that for seven, six, seventy-five of someone that had lost it. And it's a teardown. It's a 20,000 square foot lot waterfront teardown to build a new home. And the seven and uh, six seventy-five offer was missing a signature from the seller. And we were waiting for the seller to sign it. It was seven o'clock, eight o'clock in the evening, and an eight million dollar offer rolled in with four days to inspect and ten days to close. So the seven and a half and the six seven six seventy five walked out, lost out, and an eight million dollar took it. And that was in the course of maybe you know twelve days because you know you got ten days inspection, and then. 24 hours after the house got freed up again. And this was a house that sat on the market for a year and a half and nobody, there were too many homes. The spec builders were stuck with inventory. The new buyers had a lot of new inventory to choose from, but that's not the case now. You know, it's really interesting what's been going on. Um, and these people buy, they buy all cash or they buy, how do they, how are they financing them? If they are financing for the most part, we don't hear about it. Yeah, you know, and it's it's a completely different buyer profile too because they shut down Latin America. Everybody thought that no one would come to buy homes and bang, it turned, it turned into 1983 again. And they all yeah, came the, from the, New York. The market is really, really keeping us up. I mean, look, we haven't even delved into condos because that's a whole different story, right? We're, we're, we're making it sound like everything is amazing when it's uh, when it's not. Well, let's talk about the condos because I live in a high rise and I gear yeah. up to go into yeah. the elevator. And look, and, and just, you know, we can dissect this into so many micro markets. You can actually dissect the inventory into micro markets within a building itself where certain units and floor plans are performing terribly and then others are performing amazingly well. Even in a neighborhood like where you are in Edgewater, uh, for a newer construction building, you can have a fantastic three bedroom south corner unit that's selling at the same or higher price point than at the peak in 2015. And then you can have the unit next door that's a two bedroom selling at a 20% discount. So, I mean, you, you can really, really dissect it down to that, that minuscule of, of, of a detail. With that being said, I just told you that in the $10 million plus range, uh, we've got 12 months of inventory. And, and if we go through the different segments of single family homes, that changes. But if we're talking just about condos in the million plus range, just to put it in perspective, we've got 62 months of inventory. Okay. So we've got five years of inventory in that segment. And, and so, you know, that has a lot to do with a couple things that has to do with number one, the fact that um, there was an incredible, uh, an incredible amount built in, in this last cycle. That's part of it. Uh, more so on the Edgewater downtown area, but even in Miami Beach, we've added inventory. Um, and, and really the other aspect of that is maybe the buyers who were going to buy, uh, you know, a condo in South of Fifth or, or on Collins somewhere in one of the luxury buildings. Uh, maybe now, you know, maybe before they were going to spend three months there and now they're going to spend six months plus and they want to go, you know, with, with the incredibly large property on Star Island. So, you know, the, the dynamics are, are very, very interesting in terms of what's happening there. You know, also, like I said before, you know, certain young families don't want to be stuck in a condo, uh, especially during a situation like this. We'll see if that's long, a long term effect. Uh, or not, we're really not sure. It'll probably- Sure, you have a family, you know you don't want them in an elevator anymore and all this other stuff. If I know. You get them out, no, look, you I get know, them out. I know. No, but you know, but for your second and third uh, homeowners coming in from, from New York or LA or Chicago- That's different. Yeah, exactly. I mean, but even, even they are starting to look at houses where they weren't considering. I have three clients I, I was working with from November through February, and we were only looking at large condos of 3,500 square feet to 5,000 square feet. And now they only want to look at home. So the dynamic is very, very different. There's no question. You know, you know, I, I think that a condo would still be okay if you're on the second or third floor, like the major league baseball, as long as you don't have to take the elevator, you'll be okay. 
Um, look, we've only got a couple of minutes more, so I want to kind of recap. Um, Esther told us that the super luxury, ultra luxe market is absolutely white hot, that there's no inventory, that if somebody started, they'd be two years from getting their home built. Right, Esther? All right. Okay. Jason, you told us the mid market is up in North Beach, where between one and five million dollars gets you a brand new house, but even that is starting to overheat. Thank you to my mother-in-law. Thank God she's up there. Then you told us that the condo market is good in some places, not so good in other places. It depends on what unit you're in in the building, right? That's correct. So it sounds to me like the market is extraordinarily nuanced. And if you don't want to make a mistake, you need a concierge. Look, Jim, anyone can go online these days. We know that anyone could go on Zillow and try to school you on what's going on. At the end of the day, most people don't know and they need to be educated. And so uh, it, it's a process. Uh, and that's really so crucial in this entire world of, of what we do. It really is. Look, that's why you're on today. I try to surround myself with people that I believe in that project good energy that are tremendously respected in the community. Together, we rise and do business. We project kindness and make it a better place to live, which means more people buy houses from Esther and you. So that's really what it's about. We wanted to get you together, wanna to get together and project goodness, project the professionalism that you bring. What you bring, I think most importantly, is that you're a confidant of your client that you keep them out front, that their privacy is extraordinarily important to you, which means you operate under the same theory I do, that it's all about them. Thank you, Brewster Kell, for quoting that. So, so I wanna thank you for bringing that here to the show and, and, and basically enveloping me, surrounding me with your positive energy and goodness and a little bit of market knowledge too, and a great outfit with Esther. Esther, you gotta bring up great holiday outfit when you come back next time. I love that shirt. <laughs> My wife sees that, I'm gonna to have to go buy one. So Mr. Zarco, Jason Zarco, my like nephew, grandson, whatever you are, my my beautiful friend, I love you. Thank you for bringing your mentor on with you today. Esther, thank you, I'm gonna say to this for, for people, he'll never say it, maybe he does, I don't. Thank you for all the beautiful things you do for Jason and what a wonderful gift you're giving us in the community in Jason Zarco, all polished up and ready to go. He's amazing. Love you, Jason. He's great. Love you, Jason. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much, Esther, for being on the show. Dan, we'll have him back with a better hookup next time. As always, Reagan, <laughs> thanks for making us look good. You could take us out right now. Jason, I'll see you for coffee. And Esther, I'll see you for a closing. God bless you both. Thanks, Jim. Thank you. Appreciate Remember, everybody. I want to give a shout out to the first responders. I want to thank our sponsor, Warren Henry Automotive. I want to thank Biscayne Roofing for helping out my mother-in-law. Jason knows all about that. Okay, I want to thank Creco AI, Carlson Integrated. Next week is the tech show. Look for them. Bergstrom Center for Real Estate Studies, Turkel Brands. I gave him a high five. I want to thank you, my listener. Without you, I wouldn't have a show. And I get a lot of business from you guys, too. Please go to our Facebook page, our LinkedIn page, all our show stuff. Like us, tell your friends, join our community, give us feedback and comments. Tell me who you want to hear from. Tweet at Jim Freed at Freedom Business. Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube. LinkedIn, I said that already. Website, thousands of hits. Next week, Wednesday, noon, Larry Zinn and all kinds of other great stuff on the show. Remember, the person that wants to do something finds a way, the other finds an excuse. Now go out there and make it happen. I'm out of here.